Long live, etc., etc. Spare no donation, I tell you. Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or Ceres? Ceres? As I thought. I'm glad you went with her. I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Talk to Triss. Reconvening the lodge? It's not going so well. Dangerous times, especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out, and I can't blame them. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Triss and I found her in Frieder. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, can to tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, a prison in Oxenvert. I also learned the identity of a man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derald. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! <sighs> Best run and get him. Oh! Huh? Bet you're sweating all that while divided time! I thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh, and then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, oh, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped and get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, uh, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they'd learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before. They drop the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. 
So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprentice with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms were that to be my fate. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? No, not officially, but you know how it is. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Uh, uh, long as they pay, they don't hit. You mean me to grab Ah! Oh, scandalous! Ooh. Greetings, Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakamut as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mages left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf lingering around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Where are you going? Wars. Wars everywhere. Is attacked. One from either side. Cavalry swooped in from the wood.
takes strength to do something like this. Monster tracks. Digestive juices. Food for its young.
Master Clog's mark. All that's left of the body. Ericus, a venomous one.
Roasted a dog. Must have been pretty darn hungry. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did you last eat? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. Here, be sure to share it with the others. Thank you. Here, for you. For your kindness. Took the wenches from Bellows, too. We heard some lizard at Wolverine's nest there. Remember the times? What was that about? You... Greetings. I have bad news. And Eric has killed your brother. If it's any comfort, I avenged him. Comfort? Huh. Of course, it's no comfort. And I told Mickle, why are you so eager to help strangers? Sit your arse down, or there'll be misfortune. Well, why are you still standing there? Can't get your fill of others' misfortune? No, I prefer porridge and gravy like everybody else. Pay me and I'll go buy some. I'd have paid you if you brought Mickle back alive. Do a reward. Give me some coin. A reward? I. You're due. Here. After what you've done for us, you got to send me out. Ouch. He's an ass, not a baron. Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. <coughs> sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? 
Novigrad's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Here we are. This is it. Hmm. Poldo was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Not coming? Mucking through ruins and sewers? Hmm. I'd rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. Wet clothes. Oh, joy. Something else, maybe? This one like Delvin stuff. This will come in handy.
Then how to do it. Turn you to ash. keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back.
What are you doing? Yen insisted I'm coming. Rita, what have they done? When I get my hands on those whore sons, I'll gladly help. If I live to see it, I must take her from here immediately. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go.
Got eyes like a cat. You catch mice too. Oh, Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? What are you selling? What's good? Take care now. Yeah. Wonderful. Boars. Boars everywhere. Ah! Oh! Grey, but so cold. I feel oh. faint. Oh. My head spins. Geralt. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. No equality in the Lodge. That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. 
Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you, but that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. How'd it go? No casualties, so not bad, I suppose. Siri can handle herself and gets it from you. Since it seems to be over, perhaps. Yes, good idea. You two are acting strange. Us? No. Yen and I, well, we talked and concluded... That we've wasted much too much time fighting over you. Meanwhile, we'll probably soon face the Wild Hunt. Most likely battle Aridin himself, and who knows what could happen. So, we decided we must try to make the most of the time we have left. Together. I don't like this. You soon will. We've always loved each other. You're in love with us. There's no point in fighting it. We must enjoy what we have. So, we've prepared something special. Come by the Kingfisher this evening. Bring wine. Lots of wine. See you later, love. I can't wait. This will be interesting.
I'd lost hope that you'd appear. We couldn't wait for you to show. What about me? Don't I get any? You just got exactly what you deserve. Hey, this isn't funny. <clears throat> Come back. Triss, yes. Well, well, ladies did quite a number on you. You know about this? No, they didn't tell me till this morning. A shame, really, because it looks like you had a roaring good time. Dandelion. All right, all right. Sorry, don't often see you like this. Couldn't resist. So, how do you feel? A bit numb, I bet. Got what I deserved. Should have known it was too good to be true. You certainly should have. Oh, Geralt. How little you know about women. Did you really think you could have them both? You have a great deal to learn. Glad to give you some advice if you want. Think I'll pass. I'm going to the port. We should already be on our way to Skellige. Well, take care of yourself, friend. And you're not sore about my teasing, are you? No, I'm not. So long, Dandelion. <laughs> My head's spinning. You were sweating like a swine in that jacket. Ugh, scoundrel. Supper I never refuse. Help protect Siri from the wild hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. 
I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop flexing like that. Oh! All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. The king of the wild hunt sailed aboard the Nagal Fair. A giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. That settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows! Those are my friends! He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. <clears throat> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. 
It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift, the Sunstone. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. The Sunstone's in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Emir's mages, of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but- Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, Show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised, and what he'll get in return. I'm off. Good luck. See? The black dogs in their rickety tubs? They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Salmo, where's Ermion? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Foes we show our axe, remember that.